Outstanding, the ultimate accolade for teachers. We challenge primary teacher Salma Ali to go from good to outstanding. A top inspector observes one lesson. Two experts will fine tune her practice and improve her presentation. Salma then has three weeks to put all the advice into action before the inspector comes back for the final verdict. It's been really interesting for the children as well. They've noticed um, quite a big difference actually. <laughs> um, some of them have been asking, why are you smiling so much? <laughs> Seabright Primary is a two-form entry school in East London. Salma Ali has been teaching for two years. What I really love about teaching is the children, I suppose. Ultimately, the mood they create, the enthusiasm, the energy, the effort. The school rates her teaching as good. She's a very committed uh, and dedicated teacher. She'll be thinking all the time about her, what her strengths are, and what her areas for development are. Salma will focus the challenge of getting to outstanding on her year one class. This year I have to say I've got a very, very interesting mix of children, all from a range of different social backgrounds as well as a range of different abilities, where you've got some children who can barely hold a pencil to children who are writing three or four sentences. Bob, what have we been learning about in literacy? She's a great teacher. Te she teaches lots of stuff that I love. Bob, 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 Bob. Mustafa. A man on the moon. Fantastic. Man on the moon. The challenges for me, I tend to have extended carpet sessions. They tend to run on for a long time because I talk a lot. This is a very small moon mug with a picture of a moon on it she would tend to speak too much in lessons. She may want to, to fill a gap if there's a gap there. So you're going to draw your picture on the middle and you can write a sentence about it. I love writing because it, it helps you learn and you get more confidence. What sort of teacher I am will ultimately affect the children's learning, will affect their development, will affect their progress. And I'm accountable to all those parents who hold me responsible for their children's learning, and I take that very seriously. And freeze. Good morning, Kappa. It's the morning of Salma's first observation. With hundreds of inspections under her belt, school inspector Claire Gillies leads teams up and down the country. She certainly knows an outstanding lesson when she sees one. I've come to Seabright Primary School to see Salma Ali teaching literacy to her year one class. This morning, we're going to start with our game, Buried Treasure. Salma has 60 minutes to impress our inspector. Right, are we ready for our very first word? Can, 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 Kausa. Can you read what this word is? Shop. Shop. And what's this first sound in shop? So. Is it treasure chest or is it dustbin? Show me. Is it a real word? Not a real word. Um, Alexandra, how do you know shop is a real word? Because I've been to a shop before. Because you've been to a shop before, so you know shop is a real word. Fantastic. I learned what type of words are real and what type of words aren't real and the words which are real go in the treasure chest and the words which are not real go into the smelly dustbin. Who remembers what special book we have been reading about? Aaliyah, do you remember? Man on the Moon. So we've been reading this book called Man on the Moon. So today we are learning to respond to questions as Bob. Who knows what respond means? Who knows what respond means? Islam. It means that um, you listen. Yeah, it could mean that you, you listen to the question. What does respond mean? What does that mean, Sky? Res respond means like maybe if you say something, we're responding to you. you are answering the question. So you're going to answer questions and you're going to imagine you are Bob. How will you answer questions? So just thinking time now. Right, 
Chardonnay, how will you answer this question? What is your name? I'm asking you the question. You're going to respond back to me. My name is Paul. Very good. How am I going to start my sentence? Madiha. With a capital. Capital letter. So I'm going to start with a capital letter. My name is Bob. Capital B. And then at the end of my sentence, I'm going to pour Meli. Full stop. Full stop. Right, what, what good question could you all ask? How did you get to me? Right, there you go. That's your first question. Why don't you write that down? I've got one. What's your good question that you could ask? It's your job about cleaning the mind. Okay, so you can write that question. So you write no, your sentence. I work on the... What word do you need moon. to call? Moon. 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 Oh, oh. Yeah. What's your first word you're going to write? I went to the moon. But the question is, do you like working on the moon? Yes. yes. I like working okay. on the moon. Suleiman, would you like to come up? So, Suleiman, how did you get to the moon? I got to the moon with a rocket. So, Suleiman's answering questions. So, one person's going to ask a question, another person's going to answer, and then you're going to swap over, okay? What's your question? What is your name and your job? My name is Bob, and my job is on space. Good girl. What do you You should all give yourself a big pat on the back because that was very good working. And a big hug. And a big hug. And a round of applause. And round of applause. I, feel, I thought it was great. I loved it. Well, Salma, thank you very much. I really enjoyed that lesson. Thank you. Um, and it was obvious that the pupils were too. Mm. There were some really excellent features about that lesson. Yeah. Um, lovely, cheerful opening. The treasure chest starter mm -hmm. went really well, didn't mm -hmm. it? That was very effective. And you certainly stressed the key sounds you mm. wanted to check. And another definite strength was how you'd prepared work at mm. different sort of levels and styles of working to match clearly the different learning needs because we obviously had quite a range of mm. ability within the group. We had the sticky words which your learning support assistant was doing great stuff with that and really helping them to get mm. going. So there were lots of excellent features um, and why I'm saying it was a very good lesson but it wasn't quite the outstanding of was course, yeah. the order perhaps mm. of what you did mm. meant that the speaking that could have been developed mm. didn't really have a chance to get going mm. that well in the very end of the lesson in, yeah. probably perhaps because we'd sat on the carpet quite a yeah. long time and yeah. wasn't convinced they'd all understood what response mean or respond mm. Mm. quite a quite a complex word wasn't yeah. it they had great difficulty trying to define mm, it mm. um the sort of the bigger thing i suppose is that ordering to get mm. the best quality speaking as well as the writing, writing. Mm -hmm. i think that might have achieved even more wonderful learning mm -hmm. in that lesson but thank you very much i enjoyed well, it thank you for so your much. feedback it's been really helpful and really useful with the first observation over the inspector highlighted salma's need to create more speaking and listening opportunities and spend less time on the carpet it's time to bring on the experts. To boost Salma's progress, help comes from presentation and communications coach Mo Shapiro and primary literacy consultant Jane Scully. They start by watching Salma's lesson. Treasure chest or is it dustbin? I think she's got a great rapport with the class and she's really in touch with them. A couple of things that I'm going to work on. I notice she has lovely facial expressions but she doesn't smile very much. Who knows what respond means? And also I notice that sometimes she's very quick and she repeats things. Who knows what respond means? I think she had a lot of really good speaking and listening in there but I think it wasn't as um, specific as it could have been. Linked to that, I think her use of the teaching assistant could support the communication between her and the children quite a lot.
Hi Sal, Mara de Serra, you've got a lovely class. I, I can see you've worked very hard yes. to get them to be a lovely yeah. class, but uh, let's think about what we can do to, to move you from yeah. a very good teacher, I think, to, a, to an outstanding mm -hmm. teacher. Um, one thing that I wanted to think about was, was the learning objective of the lesson was to respond in role. Mm. And one way I thought that you might be able to really sort of have an impact on that side of things was your use of the teaching assistant. You know, using something like, can you just stand up for a minute? Uh, I don't know, even just something like, you know, just clipping Bob to you and you would be Bob and your teaching assistant would be asking you Chris. the questions mm. for just a case of, you know, um, Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm okay, thank and, you. And um, what's your name? Uh, my name's Bob. Bob, can you tell me what do you do for a living? What's your job? I work on the moon. I'm the man on the moon. Sometimes the tourist comes to visit um, and I teach them all about the moon. And I also keep them entertained by doing somersaults and headstands. Oh, oh. Brilliant. Thank you, Salma. Um, if, if you had done something like that with your teaching assistant, can you see the impact that it would have had on yeah. the concept of responding? I loved your idea about using cut-up sentences. Mm. Another great way to do this with, with um, your, your teaching assistant is actually do something called the human sentence. What you do is you've got your my name is Bob and you give each child one of the words and then you actually get the children to move into the right position. So you've got my over here, Bob there is, and you've got your full stop. So the child with the my will actually physically move to the beginning of the sentence. Brilliant, right, we know that's a full stop. Where's that going to go? And the children actually communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. And they say, no, you move here, you move there. No, this is, that's right. And then they stand back and they'll be able to see. I could see that you had really worked hard on your response partners, on your talk partners in class. So I'm, I'm thinking about ways that we can extend that for you and, and for, for the children as well. And I think the way to think about it is talk for learning can go on before, during and after a session. Um, one of the things that you could do mm. is before they go back to their desks, you yeah. get them to stand up where they are, talk to, talk to the person next to you and tell the person next to you what it is I've asked you oh, to do today. Yeah. Then they go back to their tables and even before they start to write, you, you say to them, OK, um, share with your partner what good ideas you've got, got today. Oh. During their writing, you just stop okay. in the middle mm. and say, right, one idea from a table and tell me, what, what good idea have you had? What, what, give me a good comment, a good response and go mm. back to the learning objective. And it's just a really great way for you to get you know, to be more able, extend, um, extending yeah. them, supporting the children who need supporting. Brilliant, right, get back on with it, that's great. And then afterwards, You've got your plenary. All of you, look at one of your responses mm. and tell me how you could make it even better next time. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Share it with the person next to you. Mm. You just had that concept of the talk before, during and after learning. Then I think mm. your lesson will go from good to outstanding. And you've got so many good features in there already, so many excellent features. You just need that little bit of tweaking. tweaking. Yeah.